Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see theory cheat sheet for the subject C and C++. This video is going to be really very important for all the degree first year, second semester BCom computer students. Already in our previous video, we have seen the cheat sheet for the programs. Already programs part have been completed. In this part, we are going to focus mainly on theory. Okay, because in the previous one, we have already completed program cheat sheet. In this video, we are going to mainly focus on theory. Don't skip the video, watch the video till end. And if you are new to our channel, learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos. And don't forget to share this video with your friends too. By watching this video, you will have the complete idea about whole theory in C and C++ subject. And if you want the notes of C and C++, you text me on my Instagram. My Instagram ID is also learn with Sahira. Text me there. I will be giving you easy, simple and clear to understand notes which are ready for the examination. You just need to go with that notes and you will be perfect with the whole subject and you will be ready for your examination. Text me there. I will be giving you the notes but note payment is must. I repeat payment is must. Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time by just messaging me there. If you are ready to buy the notes then only you text me there. Okay, so keeping this aside, let us get started with theory cheat sheet for the subject C and C++. First important one is C language. What is C language? We are talking about C and C++ subject, but we need to know what is C, right? Actually, what is C? C is procedural programming language developed by Dennis Riche. Okay, so this is the language which is developed by Dennis. Okay, if you are not getting or if you are forgetting the whole name, you can just say Dennis. Okay, it is used to write system software and applications. Like right? it is used to do the coding. It is used to write the system software and applications known for simplicity, efficiency and portability. So this is what it is about C language, but they will not ask you directly what is C language. They will be asking you, what is C language? Write the structure of the C language like that. So already you have come to know what is C language. Now let us see basic structure. In our previous video in program cheat sheet, we have seen the complete structure in the form of a program. Yes or no, we have seen that we have header file first that is include stdio.h. Then we have main, main function. Then we have variable declaration. Then we have comments or our code or we can also say our instructions then returning yes or no in our previous video and in the unit one explanation we have seen here as we are focusing on theory here the function is called main and uh, the program start executing from main only okay header file is stdio.h as i said you input and output will also be there like print of scan of here Data types already we have seen in previous video like program uh, discussion but here also let us see int for values whole numbers okay whenever we are using whole numbers in the program or in the uh, coding we will be using int as the data type char when we have characters then we will use char then float whenever we have decimal numbers like 2.06 2.12 like that point if we are seeing in the number we will be using float if that float is long or big you can say like 2.025698 like that big decimal uh, number then we will be using double void means it represents no value or no data type no data type is being decided or there is no de data type declared so we will be using void okay constants fixed values that do not change during program execution like variables we also have constants okay constants are nothing but fixed values that do not change during program execution okay so these are the fixed ones they cannot be changed and they are used using const keyword c o n s t a n t s ands have been removed only const is the keyword okay or we can also use hash defined then we have keywords, ma. keywords like int, written, if, else, while, do, while. So these are all the keywords we can say. Like in our uh, English, while we go with the lesson, we will be having keywords, right? The terminology, 
so that are nothing but here also they are having keywords like specific keywords and uh, it have special meaning and cannot be used as variable names okay we will be using variables right like a b c this number all that we will be using to assign some values some uh, number to it but these are the keywords which cannot be used as the variable just wait a minute okay then we have formatted input or output like uh, when we want to give the input which thing we will use when we want to take the output which we will use we will be saying already in explanation videos we have seen but here again let us see printf is used for output see example if i use printf in this parenthesis if i write hello sahira in my output hello sahira will be shown so whatever we write in this parenthesis that will be shown as the output okay scanf is used to give the input like whatever the text we provide here or whatever the uh, data or values we provide here it will go as the input okay format specifiers will be there like the percentile d for int if we are using or if we are giving integer values in the program then we will be using percentile d percentile f for float and percentile c for char percentile s will also be there s will be used for strings okay strings already we have discussed control statements in control statements we have if statement like if the condition is true you execute it if the condition is not true what you will do you execute the other block okay like two blocks will be there one block you execute first block you execute if it is true if first block is wrong if it is false you execute the second block that is nothing but if else if else condition is true you execute it if it is not true you execute this one if else okay switch is to select the among different options okay like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday like we have seven days but in that seven days if we say the switch statement to choose three it will choose wednesday because the first the thing which we provide in the switch statement will be zero okay it will be starting from zero loop is nothing but repeat code like when whenever we like a song okay whenever we are listening to some music if we like it we will be playing that song on loop right again and again after ending like after getting completed again that song will be starting from starting right so we will be listening to the loop in the same way when we want to repeat the code we will be using for while and do while function is nothing but a block of code that performs a task okay it is known as function and it helps in code reuse and better organization can take parameters and return values arrays what are arrays ma this is the collection of elements of the same data type stored in contiguous memory same data type like all the integers can be stored as a group all the characters can be stored as a group all the floating numbers can be stored as a group so that are nothing but arrays in which we have single dimensional uh, the, like uh, one dimensional two dimensional and one multiple dimensional single is nothing but like we just have a line and a double means the second one two dimensional means we have like rows and columns like table multi means more than two strings ma string is nothing but uh, array of characters okay in array as we have seen all the data types like similar data types will come together like array of characters like all the same characters if they come together then it is string okay and uh, it end with null character zero manipulated using string functions like str length uh, copy and compare all that we have different string handling functions in the full videos like complete unit explanation videos already we have seen it pointers are nothing but variables that store memory addresses of other variables if there is a variable a it will store the address of variable b variable a is 5 variable b is 10 you just assume then this a what it will do it will store the address of b but it will not see what the variable is having like variable is having 10 but it will not see 10 it will just see the address and by locating that address it will get that number 10 okay directly it can't take the number it will just see the address okay dynamic memory and efficient uh, array handling it is used for that structures group different data types under one name array means same data types structures means different data type that is it is it is also unions are also like structures but they only store one member at a time 
here all together they will be stored here memory need to be more but here it saves the memory enumerated data type or enum data type already we have seen user defined data type with named integer constants improves code readability object oriented programming like c++ we have already seen we have class and object blueprint of objects instance of a class it includes encapsulation inheritance polymorphism uh, abstraction all these we have already discussed in our unit number 5 complete explanation differences if they ask you you have to write these differences okay but remember understand the concept don't just memorize practice writing small explanations in your own words revise often to keep concepts fresh in mind okay already i say you number of times don't memorize or remember just understand it so this was the complete explanation of theory part from c and c++ if you want many more videos on uh, such type of things like such type of topics let me know in the comment section i will try to make the videos okay all the very best see you all in the next video bye bye